Hello and welcome everybody to another feature presentation. We've got Glenn O'Reilly's Glenn O'Reilly's Chicago Bears against the undefeated San Diego Chargers at 8-0. Trying to go 9-0 to match the Buffalo Bills. Well, not to match them. The Bills won, so they're trying to fulfill their own destiny. As the San Diego Chargers will kick off John Carney on kickoff duties, as he is for every freaking game. Carney kicks off to Darnell Woodford. Wolford. Wolford at the two-yard line. A perfect kick, you might say. And <laughs> he gets to the 15-yard line. Rough talk. And uh, we'll have to see if the Bears can compensate for the speed and ferocity of Junior Seau, who has like 20-some sacks. Nice run. Six-yard gain for uh, Neil Anderson on the run there. Harballs is... Oh! And uh, stuffed on the called play. So apparently somebody's got somebody's number, but not really because he just called one play. I mean, all right, third down, nine to go. And Harbaugh gets no chance on the on. The, well, that was a call play. Yeah, that was a call play. on the call play, and he has no choice but to punt on this three and out, fourth and seventeen. Not a good time to go ahead and try to. Uh, Try offensive solutions. Nice punt there by Chris Gardaki. And Eric sleeping with the, the enemy. <laughs> Does some fancy footwork to get a little bit of gain. Nine yards would have been more, or would have been a lot less if he just went forward with it. And he's going to punt it right now. Oh, you want to change your flea flicker? <coughs> I wish you'd done that outside the game so that, uh, you know, wouldn't have it during the game. And also, so it'll stick in your playbook, because it'll be right back in there after this game. So just remember that. All right. Stan the Man Humphreys presiding over this offense, and Marion Butt's going to do some fancy footwork for a six-yard game right there. Marion Butt's definitely been the powerhouse of this offense, and I hope I'm not giving anything away, but that's true. <laughs> <coughs> oh, play action fake. Pass to Nate Lewis. Nate Lewis is going to catch it on a diving reception. And he's going to get to the 35-yard line for the first down, plus 23 yards on top of the 10 yards that were gained. Moving the chains. Good job, Stan, man. <laughs> <laughs> Although he did overthrow him hideously. Oh, butts. Doing a little button around there. And he'll get three yards out of it. Tough, tough playbook there by the Chargers. A couple of those plays there, you know, when I play and I see those plays, I'm like, crap. What am I going to do about those plays that he, in fact, has picked? Oh, but nicely ni nicely read and nicely done. He was able to put the stops on him. He did get an 11-yard gain. But on that play, it could be tough to hold him to even that. For a player. For the computer, the computer has a lot easier time with it. Oh, and he's got his choice. He who hesitates is lost. Oh, and Nate Lewis is going to catch it anyway, despite the fact that it was underthrown. So Stan, Stan the man is definitely... He's not throwing like the man, but the results, you know, the proof is in the pass slash pudding. And uh, there goes the pitch out, and that's going to be a touchdown for Marion Butts. I called it. Did you? you know you did. You didn't call it. The last time. No, you didn't. You did not. <laughs> Have you missed the PAT? Okay, I didn't. I didn't. Okay. okay. I, I, I don't remember when John Carney missed one, but I'm sure he has. I've watched enough of this. I've watched enough missed PATs. A perfect kick there, undownable at the edge of the end zone. And he's going to get to the 14-yard line where the Bears are going to start their offensive game. 24 seconds remaining in the first quarter here. 
as the Bears take over. They're going to have to hope to get some offense going. Somehow neutralize the threat. Oh, Tommy Waddle with a jumping reception there. And he's going to get some yardage. <coughs> Gets out to the 45. For a big 30-yard game. Yeah, yeah, well. Junior Seau is a deadly weapon on defense. And basically, all the Bears' offense is going to have to go with how can I neutralize. Oop, gets it off quick. Nicely done. To an inter Okay. I thought that was... I didn't know that was... Right, right. It's too quick. It was. I was impressed by how quickly he got the ball off, and I thought there was an open man involved in that situation. Run and shoot formation there out of <coughs> Stan the man. And Butts is going to get the first down. Marion is having quite a time so far. One set back formation there. Stan Humphreys with the handoff to Marion Butts. Marion Butts gets hit behind the line. But he is... A oh, and Marion Butts going to cough it up. But the Chargers get it back. I'm just wondering when Belts is going to get injured. Not a very good pass, and it was more intended for the Chargers than, or for the Bears than anybody else. Third down and four. And we'll see if they can convert this tough third down. Oh. Run and shoot formation. And he's going to use the old standby, and that's going to get him the first down. First down. Yeah, I, I have a lot of Tecmo bowlers have commented on the fact that they feel very uncomfortable playing with their back facing a different way. Call play there, and... Uh, Wisely gets out of bounds, although I don't know if he actually tried to get out of bounds or if that was just like, holy crap, there's nowhere to go. But you don't fumble when you go out of bounds. <coughs> but I remember playing this game as a lad. Incomplete pass. Is Stan Humphrey's magic run out? Um, I remember playing this game as a, as a scrappy youngster, but I was mostly, you know, being... Uh, I didn't have anybody to play Tecmo Super Bowl with, and so... Playing by myself, I often was, uh, I, I never had my back to the other side. And so it always seemed very strange. Oh, field goal. So I look. Oh, and it looks like John Carney is on target for a change. And 10 to 0. <laughs> and a fine kick. I think he's pushing something. So, 17-yard return there. But yes, as a youth, it was always disconcerting to play from the other side of the field. And we'll see if they get some going. They've got two minutes with which to do so here. There's Anderson on the run, and he's going to get about five yards there. As the clock continues to tick, 142 remaining in the half. Oof, and the charge calls it. Two-yard loss. It was a good play by Anderson to just kind of rush forth towards the line in order to cut his losses. Crooked teeth back set formation. Oof. And there's another sack by Junior Seau, who is victimizing. Oh, wait, no. Fourth and 14. A, a timeout called for... <laughs> I didn't call it. <coughs> I almost did. No, you did. You, you certainly did. We can, we can rewind the video footage to show. It, it probably won't make a difference, because Stan the Man is not very good at throwing Hail Mary type passes. Or he makes all passes look like Hail Mary. A nice 20-yard return by Eric Bieniemy. 16 seconds remaining in the half. And 
the called play. Steve Mongo McMichael with the sack. Oh, calls a timeout for whatever reason. Perhaps he thinks he's got a trick up his sleeve for a long pass from Stan Humphreys. Oh, man in motion. You know, I think it would be befitting if Butts got injured on that play. Like, it's the one play you didn't have to do, and then he got injured on it, and then he was out for three weeks. That would screw you totally. I didn't even get to see the halftime show. Thanks a lot. So nobody really had too much of an offensive uh, half there. But uh, there was enough offense. No, it's the Bears kicking. Accidental onside kick. What are you, why are you running backwards? More stats. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's that's uh, that's kind of poor sportsmanship by K Dog. Runs backwards because he hopes to get more yards. Lewis is good for the catch, Nate Lewis. First down. Yeah, that, uh, I don't know, folks. I I find myself hoping that Butts will get injured and fumble. No, he only has one so far. And Butts goes down, goes down hard after, uh, but bangs out six yards. No, not yet. Man in motion. Hand off. Up the gut, decides he doesn't want to go up the gut, and goes out of bounds for a two-yard gain. Third down, one to go. Bears defense holding up well. Oh, and an incomplete pass will bring us to fourth and one. And we'll see exactly. Oh, nope, he's not even going to think about it. He thinks he's got that one yard. Humphreys one set back back to pass and Ronnie Harmon the third down first famed down. back is able to convert and uh, first and ten for the for the Chargers it's games like this that make me look forward to the time when this season is over and I think we'll do and we do the wrestling league next. And when people do butthole moves like that, I could put them in handicap matches. <laughs> Stay tuned for that, folks. We'll see how many takers we got. Roper it grabs him there, and we get a tackle for a two-yard gain. <coughs> yeah. Over the center, but the pass is blocked. Suck it. I don't even know how I did it, but I did it. Fourth down and three, and they're going to go for the field goal here. Apparently one yard is something they'll go for down, but three yards is a bridge too far. And that's going to be good. Still a two-possession game. 13 to nothing. And the Bears are going to get the ball, and they really, let's hope that the Bears have devised some sort of offensive scheme for the second half here. Well, Donnell Woodford gets it out, 14 yards. Very reliable. I think it was 14 the last time, too. Crooked teeth back set up. And 10-yard loss on the sack by Junior Asaya. I think too quick is misused in that situation. What happened there? Well, Chris Mims. And they're on their own one yard line at third down at 25. This is safety type territory. And, um. But we'll see if you picked the wrong play. Oh. 
Uh, no, not a sa not a safety. Avoided the safety. He ran it up the gut uh, and was able to avoid a safety. He's going to punt deep out of his own end zone. And this game is turning into a shellacking, but a rather boring shellacking, to be honest with you. Eric sleeping with the enemy. Oh, and there's a fumble, and maybe, and maybe, and maybe we could have a, maybe we could get a score. Neil Anderson is the one who's got it, and Neil Anderson, Neil Anderson is gonna get in the end zone one way or the other. Uh, and let's see if the kick will be shanked. Whoa! Gangbuster rush there. Now, if the same, if the Bears could get the ball back, well, no, let's be honest. If the Bears could score a defensive touchdown, they could win this thing. So let, we'll have to see. I don't know. I think maybe the fumble allowance has been used already. That's two fumbles. No, that was only two. Yeah. One by Marion Butts, where you got it back. <laughs> and that one where you did not. Run and shoot formation. If not for the rest of this game, for the rest of your season, Well, you ran into your line. First down. All right, it's a first down. So they're moving the sticks, moving the chains, moving down the field, moving on. And other suitable cliches. Oh, and that is a called play, and Marion Butts will take the two-yard loss. Second down, 11. And who knows? I mean, if they are forced to punt, there is a chance, there is hope that the Bears could go ahead and... Uh, Oh, call play. Gets it out fast to Ronnie Harmon. Ron Holy crap. And Ronnie Harmon's going to get the first down. That quick thinking by the K-Dog there was able to get the ball over the middle to Ronnie Harmon, even though the, call, the play was called. And there's the pitch. And it's a real pitch. Pardon my language, but it does rhyme. 14-yard run as K-Dog pantomimes the first down. Oh, two-yard loss there, and that will not help in his quest for 100 yards. <laughs> yeah, it's going to maybe be a setback. He may regret his stat-chasing ways. Oh. Incomplete pass there. A little too ponderous. Just a bit. And you know that it comes down to it. You know, between secondary and linebacker, you know, some people the more linebacker type of people, some people are more secondary type of people. That's fourth down and six. Oof. Going for it. That might prove to be a bad idea because it a, a kick would put this game out of reach. Oh, looks like he's... And that's the first down. <laughs> no, there are no penalties. <laughs> Called play right there. It's going to lead to a four yard loss. <coughs> There's still a chance they could get the ball back. Still a chance for a fumble. <laughs> and maybe an injury for Marion Butts in the offense. Well, not on this play, there isn't. He's got Lewis open all day, but he passed the intent. It appeared to not be intended for Lewis. Typical stand a man. Stand the man, not the best uh, 
Not the best quarterback in the league. Not the worst quarterback in the league. That actually belongs. That honor belongs to Jim Harbaugh. Yeah. Who has thrown an interception this game? Only one though. That's true. Uh, and it looks like the game is uh, pretty much in the books right now. <coughs> oh, he has his pick. Goes over to the center to Walker. Walker is going <coughs> to go in for the touchdown to make it look like the game wasn't all that close. But it really was, in a way. But in another way, it wasn't. I'd have to see how many first downs the Bears got. But that number probably was not a lot. And there's the kick. And 20 to 7 will most likely be the final score for this particular showdown between. Oh, and an onside kick for God knows what reason. He wanted to get more stats, probably. Yeah. Yeah, which is probably a pretty good formation to go with. He's got all day to pass. Or is it the Wendell Davis? And there is another first down. Oh! And a very predator-like tackle. First down. Trying to run out. Sexual predator. And the final score, San Diego 20, Chicago Bears 7. Two first downs, one coming. Wow. Yep, and Marion Butts avoids cataclysmic injury yet another game. So let's see what do we got here. We got, uh, oh, let's go ahead and watch this sim game just for S&Gs here, folks. Seattle versus Cleveland, two teams that are not going to the playoffs. I can say with certainty for this, Hawks, because they're 0 and 8. And they're 0 and 9 now. Yeah, that's pretty sad. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the standings currently. So the AFCs, we already saw this. Buffalo well in control of their division. In the Central, the Houston Oilers are starting to peak out ahead. In the West, San Diego with a commanding lead themselves over their division. So it's actually be kind of a toss-up. Who is going to clinch first? Seattle 0-10, which that is pretty amazing for this game. And Kansas City 2-7, which not expected. In the NFC, we've got San Francisco leading the way at 7-1. In the Central, Chicago Bears dropped down to third place, but they are still in the hunt for the playoffs. <coughs> And finally, I mean, you can see there is a bevy of five and three teams who could possibly get to the wild card and possibly not. Actually, they're competing for winning the division. Well, anyway, I hope everybody enjoyed that game. I know I did. What would you like to look at? Oh, you want to look at the schedule? Okay, we're going to go look at the schedule as at K Dog's request. We'll be playing the Raiders next week. And the Chicago Bears will be playing Kansas City. They're. All right, so the Chargers stay undefeated, and uh, Bears are still in a competitive division. Until next time, see you later.